For our last science understanding for this part of the video, we're going to look at drawing the structural formula of a polyester, given the structural formula or formulae of the monomer or monomers, or vice versa. Polyesters are classified as polymers, and these polymers can form from condensation reactions that occur between hydroxyl and carboxyl functional groups. This is often called condensation polymerization. This can form in a number of different ways. So it can form from just one monomer or two different monomers. We're going to consider both situations and see how these polymers can form. For method one, where there is only one monomer, the monomer is typically what we call a hydroxy carboxylic acid. So it's a molecule that consists of both a hydroxyl group and a carboxyl group. Hence, it's called a hydroxy carboxylic acid. In our monomer, we can see that it is comprised of a carboxyl group on this end, a hydroxyl group down this end, and then an R group in between. So I've drawn three monomers in a chain like this because we're going to get the formation of a really long molecule with a series of ester functional groups helping join them together. From here we can see the atoms involved that from here we can see the atoms that go to produce water. This is why we call it a condensation reaction. And then we get the joining of this carbon to this oxygen, this carbon to this oxygen, and the process will essentially repeat itself and it will end up forming a polymer that has this structure here. What we can see are our ester functional groups here and here. I've also indicated what we call the repeating unit. So in this case, you can see that this section of the molecule can essentially be copied and pasted numerous times to form the remaining part of the molecule. Sometimes we put a subscript n over to the bottom right of the square brackets to indicate this repeats n number of times. Now in the case that you're given the structure of the polymer and you're asked to draw the structures of the monomer or monomers used to make the polymer, then I'm going to give you a little tip here. If you have a look at the ester functional groups and you kind of consider that the groups are all pointing with the oxygen here to the right, so you can see it has the same alignment, Given that there is one alignment or one arrangement that these ester groups are all pointing in, then this helps us indicate that this is formed from just one monomer, that being a hydroxy carboxylic acid. And again, we can see that the ester groups are just being highlighted over here. For method two, where there are two monomers, we are going to have what we call a diol and a dicarboxylic acid. So an alcohol with two hydroxyl functional groups a carboxylic acid with two carboxyl functional groups. So here we can see our two different monomers. We've got our dicarboxylic acid, our diol over here, all lined up with one another. We can see that these particular atoms would be removed as water, being a condensation reaction. We're going to now get the join of these atoms with one another, and we're going to form our long chain polyester. This section here you should be able to see can be copied and pasted to form the rest of the molecule. Like with the previous example, if you look at the alignment and the arrangement of these ester groups, you can somewhat think of this ester group as pointing to the left, this one points to the right, this one to the left, this one would be to the right, and so on and so on. So because there are two different directions that the ester groups are pointing, this actually tells you that this polymer is formed from two different monomers namely a diol and a dicarboxylic acid. And finally, we can see circled are our various ester groups. That concludes part one of esters. I'll see you guys in the next video.